So before I start this video, I wanted to give you a couple little updates. The first one is that half of my collection's finally up, so this is pretty epic. I also got these two in a, a, the other day, and I really like Thrust, and Jolt is just okay. And the third thing is, hope you're having a good day. So I was never on board with Studio Series 86 when it started, simply because it had brought G1 into yet another line. Studio Series was for the Bay and the Night movie toys, and Generations was for G1, that's how it worked in my head. And I liked that balance. But then they brought in G1 into Studio Series, and I was like, bruh, really? It's like when they brought the AS Val and the SPR into Modern Warfare. Didn't like it. I know they are part of a film, so they technically do count as Studio Series, but if we're going by that logic, where's my Studio Series Predacons Rising stuff? <laughs> Just kidding. But for the first wave of Studio Series 86 figures, it was really uninteresting to me because it was just characters we always get. Hot Rod, Cup, Grimlock, bleh. Sure, we got Scourge and stuff, which was nice, but the first wave was mostly just a bore to me. Now this wave, this batch of Studio Series 86 figures, who I will continuously just call SS86 because it's too much of a mouthful, they have been a treat and I've finally gotten on board with this line. So let's talk about my two favorites, Rekgar and Sweep. Starting with Sweep, not the sweep the floor kind of sweep for those who are confused because I have had one person confused. So <laughs> Sweep isn't supposed to be out till November, January time-ish, depending on what site you pre-order it from. Yet I have it. I pre-ordered it on cmdstore.com, not sponsored, but I'll link it below if you want to buy it. And they shipped it to me last week, so now I have it. And also I saw one at EB Games the other day. Here's a photo. So yeah, it's out early. If you want, you can go looking for it. And I, I like the mold, the mold is nice. I don't have Scourge and that's mainly what this toy is for. It's for people who don't have Scourge. Scourge came out during a lockdown here. So trying to get one here in Ontario was extremely hard, which is why I missed it. And ordering it online, it sold out instantly. So it was very difficult to get. So I'm happy they made Sweep. And for the people who are complaining about getting repaints like this, we used to get repaints all the time. Like no one made a fuss about Jungle Bone Crusher, Nightwatch Prime, etc. And then I see a lot of people angry that they repainted Scourge's Sweep. I think it's because there's not much of a difference, but like there isn't much of a difference in the film. I don't get it. It, it blows my mind. It goes over my head. I don't understand it, but I just kind of stay out of that sort of thing. Sweep here is really solid, like it's built very well and I like that. The joints feel great, the stature's nice, I do have a couple of issues with it. And that's the ankle pivot, doesn't work on mine, it likes to pop back every time I move it. And the back kibble flap parts, I wish they could compress just a little bit more, because the back of the toy looks fine, but it feels like it could have done better with those bits hanging off. Also, it makes him a tiny bit back heavy with the little tiny heels he has, so that's just something to keep in mind. Those are my only real complaints with this guy. He's a solid offering from this line and he does come with his gun and a blast effect part that looks like pink snot. Not a fan of the blast effect part if I'm really honest. Now onto Rekgar who is a treat. This has to be the most accurate Rekgar we've ever gotten from Hasbro and Takara and I love it. I love the way this looks and yes I'll get it out of the way right now. He has poseable nipples. All right then. The colors while muted are really nice to look at and a really cool color combination. It's also a really clean transformation. Yes, the wheels parts form, but every wreck gar has done that, so I don't care. The Ironworks propeller looking weapon thing is neat, but eh, I never really vibed with it. It's a weird, it's a weird rotating ax. Let's just be, I'm just gonna be completely honest there. My issues with this figure come from the leg wheel ports, both sides very very hard to get the wheel in place and then out so it's kind of scary the waist is super loose on my copy and so is the ab crunch so he just kind of flops around every now and again the ratchets in the hips do that thing i hate and a lot of people hate where they're either stock straight or he has to pee it's just it's two positions and that's it and my left thigh swivel likes to fall off every now and again so that's a bit annoying Otherwise, I really like this guy, a bit more than Sweep, actually. And with other SS86 and War for Cybertron guys, these fit in quite well with any modern G1 collection, which is really nice, especially considering a lot of people who are just getting into Transformers nowadays are really getting into the modern day G1 stuff. So this will fit in perfectly with those collections. Posing both of them is pretty much the same, but they have a bunch of good solid joints, minus Rekgar's waist and Sweep's ankle. I really, really am thankful for the invention of the double mushroom peg 
That invention seems to have made almost every joint stiff and solid, except for that thigh swivel on Rekgar. And I love how they brought that into more and more figures now. I think the first figure I noticed it on was Blitzwing from Studio Series, I think. And then you, I started seeing it more and more, more on the Voyagers than on the Deluxes, but it's still a nice inclusion to see that they have fixed a lot of the loose joints issues for quality control with the invention of the double mushroom. So I like that. Transforming both is actually super fun. I really enjoy converting these back and forth. However, getting the shells on sweep plugged in and getting them out back into robot mode, that can be a bit scary because you have to like sort of force them in. Otherwise, they're super fun. Sweeps space boat thingy mode, whatever the hell you want to call this thing, is pretty good. I'm super happy with how this boat thing looks. There's just one word of warning I want to make on this guy. So this guy has a change between him and a Scourge, and that's that the wings underneath are painted. They actually painted the, the underside of it to match the trim around the space boat. But those fold under the toy, and when putting him down, just be careful you don't scratch the paint. It feels durable enough, but that's just something you want to watch out for just in case. Because sometimes, you know, Hasbro Takara paint can be really good, and sometimes it can be really terrible, so you just want to be careful with that. The colors on this version really pop and look fantastic. I love this sort of really light purpley color on the outside of the space boat. It does look a bit gappy at the sides, but it doesn't really bug me. I know that'll bother some people, but I can look past it. For the most part, it looks really, really good. I also prefer these colors just a bit more than Scourges because they actually pop at you where Scourges are more muted. So that's another thing that I, I give points to this figure for is its colors make it look a lot more vibrant and stand out on a shelf. Rekgar. Rekgar's bike is interesting. It's super boxy and weird, but in a good way. I mean, it does look like a bike, but also just looks like a robot on his hands and knees. But this is also what the bike looked like in the film, so I can I can forgive it. You can seat other figures on it, which is nice, and the colors still look on point to the original design. And I really like how they look chaotic, but they also look like they belong, these colors. The bike is kind of big and clunky, and the wheels have a tough time turning on a hard surface because of the fact that they have spikes all over them. But if you roll it on, a, on like a carpet or on a mouse mat or whatever, it's completely fine. They spin. The axe stores on the back, and it's a pretty neat looking bike. I, I actually quite like it. Both of these look really great, and I think that they are worthy additions to any modern G1 collection. Or to someone who's just interested in good figures, because these are good. Not gonna lie, the last few waves of Generations and SS86 saved this type of figure for me. Because you know, I'm getting real burnt out of G1. And again, seeing G1 in Studio Series was like, ugh, come on, really? But I'm starting to warm up to it now. And with the uh, rumors and stuff about what's coming next year, I am really excited for the future of this franchise. So yeah, bring on my Unicron trilogy figures, please. But that's been my look at Sweep and Rekgar. I still think the name Sweep is so stupid. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you next time, goodbye.